but sweet music makes it to my ears. And let's add custom music discs to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in Chiller once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom music disc to Minecraft, basically continuing along with uh, some of the sounds right here. And adding a music disc is actually fairly straightforward. Once again, there have been, I think, one or two minor changes in 1.19.3 slash 4, but they are not too bad. So for our custom music disc, we actually also want a custom sound event right here. So we're just going to duplicate one. And this is going to be the music underscore box. And then right here, this is music underscore box as well. So this is just the name of our sound file again. And when we have this in here as a sound event, as a registry object, then we of course also need this to be registered in the sounds.json. Now this is the first part where it's a little bit different from the other ones. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make a new one. This is going to be the music underscore box colon curly brackets. And then instead of the sounds right here, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to just have a one string right here, but I'm actually going to have a JSON object. And the name is going to be tutorial mod colon music underscore box. And then the second thing is going to be stream is true. Because in this case, the stream is true. So this is basically a stream of a sound. And it's not just a sound that is like being played once. But this is a special type of sound, basically. And we're going to add the OGG file once again. Once again, this name has to match with this name. While the name up top over here has to match with this name. In our case, they're all the same. Because in this case, it makes a lot of sense to have them all the same. The music box OGG will, of course, be available to you in the description below. Including with all of the code and all of the textures and all that stuff. However, I have one thing that I really wanted to tell you about the OGG file. Not this one in particular, but if you want to make your own. If you're using an OGG file, first of all, it needs to be a proper OGG file. You can't just rename an MP3 to OGG. That does not work. It has to be properly converted. That's number one. Number two, when you convert it, it has to be mono. If it is not in mono, then the music from the disc will play in the entire world. And that is not what you want. So make sure that it is a proper OGG file that is formatted in mono. Otherwise, it will not work. While we're in the assets folder, let's go into the lang and just add the translation for both our music disc right here and also the description of the music discs. So you can see this is going to be a custom item that we're going to add, of course, because we have to have a music disc, right? This is the music box music disc. And then we also have a description right here. The description is being shown when you insert the music disc into the jukebox, as well as as a tooltip on the music disc item itself. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to add the item right here. So let's just duplicate the amethyst boost that's gonna be fine and this is gonna be the music box music disc and i was smart enough to copy over the name right here so you can see music box music disc and this is going to be of course a record item so this is a very strange name for it right i would prefer to have it be called music disc item or something like that but it is called a record item and the first parameter is going to be a integer and that is going to be the comparator value once that is put into a your jukebox so you can choose whatever you want between 0 and 15 the second one is going to be the sound events that's going to be mod sounds dot music box and then i believe the last one is going to be a the length in seconds or length in ticks it says okay this is this correct it is indeed correct so it's length in ticks so we have to multiply that by 20 that's fine let's just do that so that would be 320 instead of 16 in this case and there you go. And that is the music box registered. Now, before I forget it, let's add it to the creative mode tab over here because I, I always forget this at this point. We want this to be added right here. So this is going to be the music box disc. There you go. And we, of course, also need an item model for this. We're just going to add it to our data gen over here, not the block and also not the low one, but the model provider right here. And it's just going to be a simple item in this case. This is just the music box music disc. And that should be that. So we can actually run the data right here and that should work totally fine. Uh, if you don't have this, this is just a normal, you know, a simple item, basically. So it just points to a texture, which we're also going to copy over. There we go. The music box music disc PNG right here. And we have created the new one. All providers took however many milliseconds. And this is going to be the texture. It's just a nice little music disc with a K for Kaumjo. And you might think these are all the steps, but not quite, because we have one more thing in the data folder, which is extremely important. So in the data folder, instead of the micro folder, instead of the tags folder, we want to make a new directory called items. Instead of there, we need a new file called music underscore discs.json. And I shall be copying over the contents of this, which, however, are just going to be a normal tag in this case. 
just pointing towards our music box music disc that we have created uh, right here. Right, so it just points to this item in this case because otherwise it will not be properly recognized as a music disc. But once you've added this one as well, now we're ready to go into the game and listen to whether or not our music works. All right, found us back in Minecraft and let's just put the music disc in. And there it is. It is playing absolutely lovely. And if we, you know, fly away from it, it should get quieter and quieter and quieter until we can't hear it no more, which is exactly what you want to see. This is exactly right. Absolutely awesome. And that's how easy it can be to add a custom music disc to Minecraft. One tiny thing you might want to do in the item properties is just to call the stacks to one because that is the usual way that music discs work. They basically only stack to one. I don't know if there might be some issues if you don't do it. I just recommend you do this. Regardless of that, though, that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.